public enemy number one, a foe whose battalions are thousands of millions strong despite unceasing slaughter. It's the late 40s, Germany, Italy and Japan have been beaten. But we go to war again, against a different invader, the European rabbit. The Australian countryside is being torn to bits by this environmental menace. And we have no one to blame but ourselves. In gullies, burrows cause more damage. Rainwaters flood them, they collapse, and the precious topsoil is washed away. It is a grim fact that the rabbit was originally imported to Australia from England to provide sport for gentlemen. It all began at places like this property in Geelong. In 1859, 24 rabbits were brought here from England. The idea was to improve the local hunting. Ninety years later, as this home movie shows, farmers were desperate. They staged rabbit drives, herding the beasts into fenced-off pens and beating them to death. At this drive in 1948, more than 5,000 rabbits were killed in just one afternoon. It wasn't until 1951 that scientists found a better, although hardly humane, solution. That's when Australian researchers began injecting the killer virus, myxomatosis. But the tough little bunny bounced back. Within a few years, the rabbit's immune system began adapting to the virus, and their numbers were back up again. A multiplication. That's the name of the game. Youngsters bring rabbits to Melbourne Zoo as Victoria proclaims an act making Br'er rabbits a prohibited pet. The penalty for having one is 50 pounds or six months jail. A multiplication. That's the name of the game. Hear me talking to your mother nature, the clever girl. She relies on habit. You take two hair with no care. Pretty soon you got a room for the rabbits. Farmers pulled out all the stops. Poisoning, fumigating, dynamiting their burrows. They even hunted them again with dogs. Only this time, it wasn't for sport. Multiplication. But when a female can have as many as five litters in one year, we've had to accept that the European rabbit is now part of the Australian landscape. <laughs> 